Mille Milia war halt ein, ein Ding zwischen, naja, du musst mit allem rechnen, es kann alles passieren. This is the most fantastic car in the world. And to drive it on these roads as fast as one can is a wonderful thing. Really my, my finest race, I think, and I enjoyed it enormously. Dieser Fokus auf uh, die Kondition der Fahrer. Nämlich das Fahren so angenehm wie möglich zu machen, an die kleinen Details zu denken, das war der ausschlaggebende Faktor. Monza ist fantastisch. Das ist das Haus in Italien, ich meine das Haus von Motor Racing. Today was the first time I think I've driven the bank. It was amazing, incredible. We don't have any banking in Form 1 room, so um, very, very cool. I think we should have a, a banked corner in Form 1. That was fun. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, well, I wasn't that keen on the banking, frankly, because uh, I, I was driving once here, and I'm going around the top of the banking at about 300 kilometres, and, and the steering broke. Oh. And that was not very good. Mm. No. And uh, so, so I'm not that keen on banking. But, but, but Monza is fantastic. This is the, the home in Italy, I mean, the home of motor racing. And it's got so much history, and all the people who have raced here. And, 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 you know, from the, I, I think the trouble with what they do is they, they try to uh, change the circuits and make them safer. Well, motor racing isn't safe. And therefore, I think keeping them as they were is a lot more exhilarating for the driver rather than changing them to make them too safe. I agree, I agree. I mean, I was just... But today was the first time I think I've driven the bank. It was amazing, incredible. Um, I definitely, because it's a lot different to any... We don't have any banking in Form 1, really, so... Um, very, very cool. I think we should have a, a banked corner in Form 1. But incredible, just uh, in these historic cars, it's unlike anything else. It didn't feel difficult there, no. It feels... It feels um, I mean, naturally, to be fast in it, I'm sure, is very, very difficult. But I think just to drive it in general, it's it's a very easy-going car. Great clutch and, and, and gearbox. It's very, very smooth in this one here. I really enjoyed it. Amazing sound. And um, a bit bumpy compared to uh, nowadays for one circuit. Well, brave, you know, bravery and stupidity are very closely related. And, you know, if you do certain things at one time, it might be brave, whereas another another time, it would be stupid to do it. Uh, but I think the great thing about motor racing with, okay. with difficult circuits is that, that it allows drivers with the greater ability, like Lewis and so on, to, to be able to ignore that and not, to, not take any notice of it. I think bravery is a different, is, has a different meaning today as it did uh, in the Sustelling today. Yes. You know, back then it was a large portion of it was bravery, how far you were willing to go, and then ability as well. Nowadays it's more more so ability and you know you you don't I don't think you really need to be brave in Formula 1 anymore whilst it still is dangerous I don't th think you need to be you don't need to be heroically brave like they did yeah. they, they were yeah. absolutely you know but at, it's, di it's easy for us to say now but back then that's all you know it's like just today it's all we know maybe you, in 50 you, years it's gonna but be you would have you would have liked racing on roads and so on I would have you know, that's really I would have liked you know, Close like to your era, drives. yeah. I like even Senate. You know, my favorite cars were kind of the late mid mid to late eighties. Yeah, because they're fast, but they were still quite. Un they were still a little bit unsafe. You know, obviously yeah. still unsafe. And it was just a kind of nice mixture, I think. At your time, probably just too dangerous. Yeah, well, the, 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 the trouble in my time, really, more than anything else, was the materials were not good, and therefore we had a lot of breakages, breakages which yeah. is not the driver's fault, you know. Yeah, but, uh, and that was, I guess that was causing a lot of, uh, of deaths back yeah, then. Yeah, exactly, it? three or four drivers a year, wow. because, because of something that wasn't their lack of ability. Yeah, well, for me it's amazing to be, to be a part of this team, to be... Uh, in the family with Mercedes Benz. I've been with the family since I was 13, so it's been quite already a long time for me, but to be representing such an iconic brand and, and uh, such an incredible history is a very proud, proud moment for me. You know, I'm at the pinnacle stage of, of, of motorsport, but also of my career, and to be doing it with Mercedes is just the greatest feeling. This is, well, when you drive a Mercedes, that's as good as it gets. I mean, in every way, not only the mechanics, but, but, but the, the team managers, you know, and all the things that go on and the, the two things don't ever happen. I mean, I was driving this car once, this broke up here, the windscreen, and I had to come in. 49 seconds later, I went away with one fitted, which is pretty quick. But the next race, if that broke, you just push a button here and another one came up. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that's the way Mercedes work. It doesn't happen twice, which is, which is, and it gives a driver, I think, a lot of confidence because I can't think of a driver who was ever killed dr uh, driving a Mercedes because because of a mechanical failure, and that's very gratifying if you're racing. I mean, I'm sure Lewis is ha wouldn't wouldn't want the car to break, and I think the later we go, the longer we go, the less likelihood there is of that happening.